Hi there, so today is February 18th, 2013, and I'm just giving you a quick uh, training vlog update, raw and uncut. Uh, I ran 93 miles last week, uh, which was pretty good volume for me, and it was mostly on the trails too. Uh, so today I did, I went up Bear Peak uh, for about two hours it took me, and it was about 14 and a half miles, uh, no gels or fluids or anything like that, but I'm super excited after this run, because uh, out in the middle of the run when I was climbing up uh, between the saddle of green and, and bear, uh, I was coming up the trail and I was, I was like, yeah, I'm going to put in a pretty good uphill split probably. Uh, I just kind of had my head down and I come around the corner and there's this guy with his dog. The dog was on a leash, by the way. It was one of those little dogs. And he's like, stop, stop, look. And he points off to the side up the hill and I look over to see where he's pointing and about a hundred feet away there's this giant mountain lion and he's like he does this little bound between these two rocks and then he's gone and it just made my heart my heart rate was already high but it just went like you know skipped a beat and I was just so stoked that I finally saw a mountain lion out in the wild on a run uh, and this guy, you know, I was talking to him, and he'd been in Colorado for 10 years, doing a lot of hiking and stuff, and he'd never seen one. Uh, so it was definitely a, a real privilege. And, you know, I was definitely a little sketched out um, after seeing that, because I still had to go down uh, to access the West Ridge of Bear Peak. You kind of dip down on the trail, and that's kind of where the mountain lion went. And there's these kind of, like, tall, overhanging rocks, uh, you know, above the trail there. And, you know, mountain lions have been known to kind of jump down on their prey, so I was a little sketched out about that. I kind of, uh, I picked up a little rock, uh, not that it would do me any good, but I picked up a rock and I, you know, I, I put my hands up like this, and I, you know, I started singing like a fool, making some noise. I think that's what you're supposed to do, uh, just so that, you know, they don't get that instinct like, oh, look at, you know, there's a rabbit, I'm going to jump on you. No, make yourself look bigger, make yourself look taller. Uh, just be real obnoxious, and so I kind of was a little sketched out because that was a you know a great encounter, and I've you know I've seen a bear before. I saw a little black bear once in Oregon on a run, and this was definitely even more amazing, I think. And I think the mountain lion is probably about the same size as the bear I saw. I could not believe how big it was, um, but this was just in the middle of the afternoon too. It was like one o'clock sunny out and you know there he was so uh, super stoked about that uh, training wise I got 27 days till the Tarawera 100k New Zealand so I'm really looking forward to that uh, you could see my training log I kind of updated some stuff here so this is just my basic uh, training log schedule for Tarawera I usually just look at a calendar grid and fill out the days working backwards from a target race uh, for each phase and you know this could be anywhere between like 16 weeks to maybe only four weeks depending on how much time I have uh, but that's kind of the the rough outline that I put in it's always subject to change on a day-to-day -day basis so that's how I do training for myself so I upload a lot of my training runs to strava.com uh, but I also keep my training log as a Microsoft Word document on my computer. And you can see uh, my last week here, I got in a good long run, 21 miles. Uh, then I had a steady 16. Then another long run, uh, 22 miles. So 93 mile week, uh, my fourth week back in training. And, you know, I'm just building the mileage up, uh, trying to get ready for Tarawera 100K in four weeks. And then a final note uh, why I wanted to do this vlog update was that I got a lot of positive feedback on the Training Talk series video that I just posted on long run, high mileage, strength, and building endurance and speed through developing your lactate threshold. I'd like to continue with that, so thanks for all the support and feedback on that. And I'll post to you in the comments below, you could ask another question or try to, you know, get the discussion going for a new Training Talk topic and I'll kind of sh uh, sift through those and see which ones get the most thumbs up, kind of see what general themes uh, people would like to see and hopefully I could provide you with some more informative content uh, for a new training talk video 
within the next couple of weeks here. So thanks a lot. Again, I appreciate the support. I should also add, uh, you could check out my blog on my website, sagecanaday.com, and I'm going to have a new email subscription there uh, with the RSS feed for my site, and I'm going to try to get in some more blogs uh, more regularly. You could see some more uh, running information there as well. So. so thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions. Alright, I'm starving now. It's time for some delicious pizza.